Podcast Ahoy and G'day once again to ye mateys. I am and shall always be your DM Josh the Pirate, and it brings me more satisfaction than Mick Jacker could ever get as we welcome you back to Corsa's ah. Cove and my humble wood world. It was a deep pull, but I liked it. Uh, for some more of no, Midnight good. and Madness. Above me, I no, have no, me no. hearty crew. The fabulous Rachel Foucard, the extraordinary Ellie B, the outstanding Jack O'Brien, and the magnificent Ro Ro. I am straight out of numerical adjectives. I'm just going to say nice things. <laughs> 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 so let's talk about these outstanding people, shall we? Rachel, who the heck are you? Uh, hello, my name is Rachel Fuka. I'm a writer, actor, creative trash at large. You can find me on various social media at Rachel Fuka because I've got a weird name and you can't have it. You can, <laughs> or you can have. Uh -huh. What you can have is the book that I wrote, The Rings of Mars, because <laughs> you can buy it here on the internet. It's a sci-fi book. They're trying to get to Mars. Things go wrong. Book. Check it out if you like books and stuff. <laughs> Dead set. Ellie B, who the heck are you? Hi, I'm Ellie B. Um, former serial lurker of streams now. Occasionally, I'm apparently in them. Um, you can find me on socials as at Ellie B94 on most of them, except for the social formerly known as Twitter, because on that one, I'm at Ellie underscore May. How did your guest appearances last week go? I was Radiant Shadows. Oh, it was so good. It was good. It was Excellent. so much fun. Excellent. I, I, was, I got to dab things. It was fantastic. <laughs> As in... <laughs> dab things? No. Yeah. Dab. <laughs> <laughs> stab things. Right, right, right. Um, all right. Uh, Jack, who the heck are you? I almost said smoothie there. That's all right. <laughs> it's uh, hard to tell sometimes. Um, You're just such hey, a smoothie. Everybody. My name... <laughs> um, uh, hey everybody, my name is Jack. Uh, you can find me on all the socials at Jack Squarepeg um, on Twitch and uh, all the things. Um, I'm also preparing a Call of Cthulhu Western show. Episode one is basically locked. It just needs some art, uh, yeah. of which I am uh, extremely excited. Um, and it is basically a radio play, but with your eyes as well. There's going to be sound effects and all sorts of fun stuff. And uh, it's going to be basically uh, your favorite uh, Western uh, smushed in with uh, every pulp trope you can think of. Also zombies. So I'm very excited to uh, show that eventually. And, um, and thank you for your support. Amazing. Um, yeah. A radio play, but with pictures. So a play. Um... <laughs> I like my version. Yeah. I like yours better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's like a, it's like a play I can do crochet while I listen to it. It's cool. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Hi, I'm Ro Ro. I'm a Perth-based educator and theatre maker. Uh, you can catch me here on Mondays. Uh, I'm also on Instagram at Cradventurers to see photos of my dog Charlie with the large ears, my many travel adventures and upcoming projects like Othello, where you can see me on the Shakespearean stage in December in the meat space in Perth. Um, and at a time soon to come, I'll be on a radio play Format over at for your eyes, <laughs> for your eyes, over on Jack's I feel Still attacked. Saying, saying a radio I, play for I your thought, eyes oh, kind of radio. imagines makes it like it's only said, pictures, not I audio said. at all. <laughs> no, I love it. You like have to watch I'm, your I'm ears. You have to watch I'm, the sine I'm wave. I'm on board. I'm on board. <laughs> I am so looking forward to the sound effect. <laughs> it's going to be good. You I have a shotgun at the end of the first episode. It goes boom, and then the show ends. Spoilers. I, I have a very, very, very important question. Mm -hmm. Is there a Wilhelm scream at any point? There isn't yet, but that is a good note. I will make it happen. Uh, <laughs> because good. because the second combat because the second episode begins with a combat, so that'll oh, yeah. be that'll be yeah. easy to slot in there. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I must remind our um, gorgeous, alluring, and possibly even schmexy audience to please like, follow, and subscribe to all the things, you bloody champions. And also, if you wouldn't mind, heading on over to the Emergency Action Appeal and donating what you can, when you can, if you can, towards the Ukrainian uh, Relief Fund. Because that thing's still a thing. The war is still ongoing there. There's stuff going on in Gaza. There's stuff going on in the US. But... It's also still going on in the Ukraine, and any penny there would be gratefully received, you bloody champions. Um, we have all the exclamation mark socials. 
We have the Discord. And we have a YouTube. And I spell all of them correctly on the first time, which has to be some kind of record. Um, guys, uh, yeah, feel free to follow us on any of those things where you can see all the episodes you may have missed. Talk with the creators. Spread your love like we always do. Do all those things. I be Josh the Pirate. This be my channel. This is where you can see me doing most of my D&D &D stuff. You know that. You're already here. Good job. Keep doing it, you bloody champions. So, guys, what the absolute heck happened last time? We didn't actually establish who was doing I, the... Uh, I, I, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Might have been me, in which case it's going to be another Green Mario thing. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Look, how about I do it? Because there wasn't that much, and I've actually never had to do one of these. So, <laughs> last episode. Oh, okay. We can oh, judge you can now. We, yeah, we can add in echoes. Where last and stuff. We, yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah. <laughs> Where last we left our heroes, um, they had just nice. um, brought the totally dead, not at all alive body of Van Richten to the cave of the were prowlers where they had um brought it to appease the leader kirill um however only half of the group had actually done this esmeralda and selenox had brought the body whilst trish and smoothie had sneaky boy and girl all the way around and snuck in the back way so they could get a chat with zuelica they had had a chat with zuelica and zuelica had said look kill kirill i'll take over the pack save my husband maybe and then we good and let's see what we can do for each other um which they then proceeded to do that was most of last week's episode was a fairly heavy duty boss fight um where a bunch of prowlers a lot of lesser prowlers but actually only three were prowlers died the rest of them were either rendered unconscious um or ran away um so yeah that was actually it was surprisingly like it was bloody but it wasn't a, there wasn't a lot of sentient beings murdered however trish did get one um but only one she got gregory i think or gregor um so uh, at the end of the uh, episode um we left with esmeralda and selenox getting the children back down to the uh, campfire out the front um, with uh, with Van Richten and Smoothie's assistance. Um, Van Richten uh, has... I don't know. I don't want to speak for any of you, but I would say he demonstrated a, a, like he was... He kept doing things that seemed to surprise people about being nice and stuff. Like, Esmeralda was genuinely surprised when he knocked someone unconscious instead of killing them. Um, he was just he... like, Van Richten is a good Correct. guy. And we're yeah, all Van like, Richten's well... not a bastard, but you've all sort of decided he um, is. <laughs> he's, he's working on his past shit, is he more is, accurate. He is very different um, than... Yeah. yeah. Uh, he is... There is a thing that Esmeralda has read that no one else has uh, that gives Esmeralda reason to doubt this. Um, but there we go. Um, Trish, on the other hand, went inside, snuck inside to see if she couldn't rescue the one little strig boy um, who uh, is named Kellen and has been turned into a were prowler. And uh, so we left this the, the gang last time with Trish having this little conversation with the little were prowler boy. And uh, he intimated that Trish has been bitten by a were prowler. Uh, observed that accurately, and um, they and I believe what he said was, they're not safe with you either. Uh, in reference Yay. to these small children. Um, so when she said, hey, you should come, we should, we're going to take all the kids away, and he said, they're not safe with me, and they're not safe with you either. And I think that was where we left it. So I hope that clears everything up for everybody. Basically, an awful lot of blood was spilled. Smoothie swooped around, didn't take any damage, and was otherwise very handy and useful. Um, and he will probably be called upon to be a little bit more handy and useful this episode as well. Which... Forewarned is forearmed, gents and ladies. This is going to be a shorter one because uh, we just want to tie a little bow on this one. Um, and uh, there was theory that perhaps some of us might have other stuff to do this evening. I know I do. So, uh, with all that being said, let us get the fuck into it. So, ladies and gentlemen, beings and miscreants, um, I didn't actually write. Uh, may all new, may your new acquaintances share your whiskey and all your stolen children bear familiar relationships to you. As we head tremendously at first, and then with mounting anxiety and dread into Barovia. <sighs> bow, bow, bow. Um, so, we return to Barovia in a cave system which is home to a significantly reduced pack of were prowlers. The children kept as hostage are now gathered out the front around a campfire. Um, the bodies have been removed and Trish is within the cave talking to a small boy named Kellen who has just pointed out an inconvenient truth. What do you say? Uh, 
Don't worry. Look. It's not as bad as it as you think. It's quite nice. You feel all strong. Look, if you want to stay with this pack, I understand. But if you'd rather not, my friends would be more than willing to help you. And they are safe to be around, believe me. You've got some time. Make make your decision. I, 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 need, to, I need to leave. And then I do so. <laughs> then you do so. <laughs> Trish heads out, leaving the boy a little bit... He looks a little confused. Um, mm. He probably, before you go, would say, Where should I go? <laughs> Everyone's I... meeting out the front, near the fire. Well, the where... other children are there. Would I live with you? <laughs> probably not. Where I'm going is... Very dangerous. But we've made a lot of friends in Barovia. We've got some friends in Kresk who might be able to look after you. We know people who would keep you safe. You don't have to stay with this group if you don't want to. There are always choices. The lady, Wenceskia, she's nice to me. Treats me like a mum. And seeing as mine's dead, maybe I should stay here. I don't know you. I don't know your heart. I only know that I wouldn't want to stay with the people who did this to me. Well, Kirill's dead, right? I heard them saying Kirill was dead. Yes, he is. He was the one that did it. I never liked him. No. No, he was a terrible, terrible person. But not because he was a prowler. No. That was a Kirill thing. Well, I can be a good wear prowler. Maybe if I'm a good wear prowler, other people will be a good wear prowler too. So Elika's nice. She always made sure we had enough food and stuff. Family should be more than just make sure you have enough food. You deserve that was before to feel I, safe. Before I was a prowler. Now I'm one of them. I do feel safe here. People are scared of prowlers, right? I heard stories. But if I can be a nice prowler, maybe people won't be scared of me. But if I live near other people, then they might be in danger of me. I need to grow up so I can learn to control it. I think I'd be safer for everybody else here. You're a grown-up, so maybe you can control it. Maybe you're strong enough, but I'm not. I tried. But the first time I turned, I um, I went out and I, I caught a rabbit. I didn't like what I did, but it tasted really good. I think I prefer a bird next time, though. Oh, Tony's named an NPC. Shout out the name, Tony.
I'll think about it. Okay. I just want you to know that you have choices. You're going to be a great wear prowler. Thanks. That's when, Ses when Seskia says. Um, and uh, he picks himself up and dusts himself off, actually. He says, I'm like, can I come and see the others? Of course you can. Just, I don't think I'll change or anything, but if I do, can you make sure I don't hurt them? I will. I'll keep everyone safe. Cool. So Kellen gets up and ooh, he reaches out and like gestures that he would like to take your hand. I will take his hand and lead him through the caves to where we're going. Very well. Um, this light, tawny strict boy um, holds your hand. Um, there is strength in that grip. Strength way, like not hurting you, but way beyond what a 10 year old or 12, he's about 12, um, is capable of. And you're like, whoa, okay, this kid's. However, Trish, you feel that whilst this is a strong grip, it's not. Like, you feel like it should hurt, but it doesn't. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Interesting. Right? <laughs> <laughs> cool. You head outside. Um, a couple of other where uh, prowlers see this, but make no comment. Um, they are rushing around, um, seeing to the instructions that. Tristan Smoothie have given them, get these kids blankets, get those kids food. Um, the kids are not being brought back inside, but um, yeah, there you are. Um, you head back outside and you find the others who have made the children comfortable, I presume. There are 12 kids, um, a fairly homogenous mixture of boys, girls, and various races of humble folk. There is one of almost everything. Um, uh, a couple of pairs of siblings uh, that looked like it, and about 60% of them were from outside of Barovia. Van Richten is doing a once over of all of them just to make sure they're not going, that they're not injured in any way. He has performed some minor healing magic on a couple of them, like grazed knees and the like, um, but they are quite. I think shell shocked is probably a reasonable facsimile of how they are uh, behaving. As they were coming round, Selenox says like she had a flask out when they were coming round and she's put the flask away and then she's tried to like hide bodies. Oh. But the... badly. <laughs> she's like, ah! Like, <laughs> there's children! Tries to like get <laughs> some of the prowlers like behind a rock or a bush or something. <laughs> Zuelika and, uh, Devanka have come out and brought um, so one of the one of the were prowlers outside was knocked unconscious by Van Richten and tied up Skund uh, and Skund has been carried inside still tied up he has not been untied um, and call. Van Richten <laughs> well no one else uh, uh, it was um, no actually it would have been Zuelika and Yosef because Yosef is the only one who saw um, and said to, and has presumably told Zuelika, Skund is upset. Um, probably reasonably, because his partner is dead. Um, and uh, so, yeah, it's probably a fair infer inference that the rest of you should probably not go and talk to Skund at any point. Um, <laughs> um, other than that, the bodies have thus far really been left. Um, so, um, yeah, Selenox, it's noteworthy that when they died, um, all of the three were prowlers that we did die turned back into their humble folk or bird folk forms um, they did not remain in the hybrid forms that at least one of them died in um, 
Yala is once again a female Gallus um, lying beside the fire where she was scorched by a moonbeam to death, I think. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, but when they are brought around, the children are not overly phased. You've not succeeded in hiding all the bodies, but none of them seem overly bothered by the presence of a half dozen dead animals. And, like, there was only two dead bodies outside. Uh, Kirill and Yala were the only two people bodies outside. Um, so your efforts to hide them would not have been overly difficult, but um, I don't think you would have succeeded particularly well unless you dragged them off into the undergrowth. Um, <clears throat> and um, But yeah, they, they see at least one dead person and doesn't appear to bother them. Yeah, it's because they're sleeping. <clears throat> <laughs> yes. Like you usually Nap do. Time. They've had their sleep Nap arteries time. cut. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, do that's they, a different campaign. <laughs> so they, they don't notice. They don't notice anything. So they look. No, they I notice. Roll? They see. They just they, don't. They're not phased by it. There's a level of they've already seen some shit, basically. Ah, uh, okay. So it's not like they're drugged or something. <laughs> no, they are. Uh, a lot of them are t uh, like just traumatized. Traumatized. Right, okay. Yeah, it's just that they've seen death already. It's not new to them. Um, are any of them, what age is the eldest? They are all between sort of eight. Anyone, they wouldn't have taken anything younger than about eight years old. Um, the oldest would be no okay. more than 14. Selenox will consider her flask and then be like, no, put it no. away. <laughs> <laughs> if they were all, if they were all 14, maybe, but yeah, not, the like, eight, I mean... not the eight year old. Um <laughs> Very well. Um, Van Richten says, come, come, yes, sit, sit, everyone. Let's, uh, let's all have a nice sit and um, we'll, we'll, have a, we'll have a bit of a feast, shall we? Sounds nice, doesn't it? Um, <clears throat> now, let's all have a look at you. Does anybody, is anybody injured? Is anyone hurt? Because I can do some special magic. Uh, and I can fix anybody who's hurt, if anybody would like. And uh, one uh, young boy shows uh, a scraped knee, and he says, "Ah, oh goodness me, that's a that's a nasty one." Well, well, now you know what a brave young soldier you are. Let's have a look here. Um, and he does the um, the clockwork healing magic on the knee, and it is fresh and brand new, and it's remarkably clean given the state of the child in question. Um, and he proceeds to go around the children. Most of them find an injury. Uh, like, they're keen to have this done to them at this point after the first one. Yeah. Um, and food becomes... Uh, uh, Annika and um, Yosef bring out a deer. Well, they continue cooking the deer that was already being cooked for you guys. Um, <clears throat> professional Santa energy. Yeah, I'm getting ready, Bishop Blood. It's uh, this Friday. Is my first Santa gig of the year. Which is messed up. It's only mid-November. What the fuck? Yeah. You still be building toys, gosh darn it! I know, right? I'm busy! So quick. <laughs> Every year it gets earlier. I was in an IGA like three days ago. There's a big Christmas tree. I'm like, the fuck? Like, we had... Halloween was, what, a week ago? Guys. Um, uh, like, Halloween is doing a lot of heavy lifting to stop it getting earlier. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for that. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, the yeah, only really valid am. reason, as far as I'm concerned, to keep that holiday. Um, so fuck off. <laughs> I'm an Englishman. We we have different feelings about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, oh, it's an Irish holiday, eh? If you fucking we know. <laughs> Josh, you're an actor. You love yeah. getting dressed up in costumes. I didn't Don't get lie to. to me. I didn't get to this year. No, there's too oh, much pressure. Yeah. The actor going to the Halloween party, it's pain in the ass. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this year, I was like, no, I'm not painting myself blue. I am not doing Corpse Bride. So then I was like, no, I'll do the easy one. I'll do Medusa. Oh, yeah. So then I spent like two hours putting snakes in my hair. And I was like, no. Was it, and did you go to school like that? No, no, it was just for a party. Oh, right, okay. Two hours of my life. Because I'm the actor. Yeah. <laughs> and you are extra. Yeah. Um... Yeah, anyway, sorry. <laughs> no, we're good. Um, yeah. As, as um, Van Richten comes around the circle, Selenox mm. is going to be like, get in on the circle as well. She's got like, she's bleeding <laughs> profusely. <laughs> she's 
blood everywhere, and she's just sitting there. All the kids are like, "Fix my finger!" And yeah, she's yeah. like, "I think I probably fine. would be we're dealing like, with that." Yeah, well, someone, because like, uh, she's, yeah, she's not that. gonna ask. If but if it's Smoothie hilarious. doesn't, Van Richten would get to go. Ooh, yes, that's a very nasty one, and you've been a very brave soldier too. Um, yeah, no, if, if Van Richten starts talking to Celadox like that, she's gonna be like, "It's fine," and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I'm fine. I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are. Well, they all were as well. You didn't see anybody complaining. But come on, come over here. Come on, no. have a seat. I was ready to. Okay. Yeah. No. Well, no, you you can do it. Just keep it quiet. <laughs> Sorry. I please. No. That would be nice. No, thank okay. You. No it worries. It hurts a little bit. I'm... That's that's fine. I'm kind of tempted, but I don't want to get kicks a, a mile down the road. I would, I would. Um. So yeah. You're no, tempted yeah. to what? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Um, um, I'll, I'll really be uh, fine. So, she tries yeah. to just shrug it off. <laughs> She's like, it's fine, fine. Yeah, no, I'll just, I, I'll, I'll, I, I touch her wing as she goes away, and I cast it at fourth level. Um, not great, but fifteen. Very well. Uh, total. Fourth level Thanks. is pretty shit, but oh well. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, there's a bit. Oh, yeah. It's a one and a two on two of the four dice. Uh, and a four, is... yeah. Not yeah. amazing. Yeah, oh, well. it, it was Selenox's fault. She's like being all like, no, I don't need it. Yeah, yeah right. Like, didn't... Wheel the die. Yeah. To... You pull the oh, wing out. Oh, God. Of... <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, thanks, <clears throat> kid. Um, so, <laughs> uh, yeah. At this point, Trish and Kellen come out of the cave. <clears throat> um, uh, what would Esmeralda have been doing through all this? Probably checking any of the, um, God, br brain's just gone. This is fun. Um, yeah, probably just checking to make sure everyone's weapons are, are still okay so that she doesn't have to do any more smithing. <laughs> and it will work, yeah. Valid, yep. Like, I want to sleep when I get home, thank you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, that's probably... I'm, I'm going to really much. proudly show you Esmeralda that I have it, like, everything's fine. <laughs> Yeah. Look at it, isn't it? It's great. Um, you did good work. You at least do this for like four hours. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it, it must have been the workmanship. It's great. Great workmanship. <clears throat> Let's leave it with that, shall we? <laughs> <clears throat> I was talking about your, not my, anyway. <laughs> Um, so Trish comes up with Kellen holding hands, um, and uh, yeah, Annika sees that and sort of smiles. Um, and a couple of the kids shout in surprise, or like not shout, but like uh, uh, greet Kellen like they know him. Um, and uh, he runs over and hugs a a girl about a, about a year older than him. Um, and uh, her name is Sophia, um, as you've learned from his what he says to her. Um, <clears throat> and they begin chatting amongst themselves, um, catching up, as it were. Um, yeah. Um, Smoothie, after your yeah. healing of um, Selenox, um, what does it look like when you cast a, a healing word? Or not a healing word, mm. a cure wounds. Um, let's say like, uh, like a ripple in a pond sort of thing, like rather than the wound stitching, it just sort of like spreads a sort of like salve, but it's like a silvery dew and it just kind of like coats over mm. sort cool. of thing. So it's quite a subtle thing. It's not very, it's not like a magic. I think it's... a lot of it is unless, unless he chooses it to be obvious, uh, a good chunk of it is is uh, quite subtle. You kind of have to keep an eye out. Not unlike an owl hunting. Fair, fair. Um, in which case, um, yeah, uh, the food is prepared and served. Uh, you're all given a, a quite sure. pleasant meal. It was nicely cooked. Uh, one side is a yeah. little overdone um, because someone stopped turning the spit um, for a, 10 minutes where you killed a bunch of people. Um, and <laughs> these days. Yeah, honestly, can't get the staff. Um, 
but most of it is unfortunately there's a few fewer people to feed so um yeah however the entire pack <laughs> jesus the entire pack does come out uh including um two where pr- uh, two, two lesser prowlers emerge from the tree line um one limping very badly um uh, anybody who was outside before might recognize these two. Two of them did run. Um, scattered uh, before Selenox's yeah. fury. Um, and uh, they give Selenox a very wide berth yeah. as they Selenox come back. is going to be like, as they come back, Selenox is like... <laughs> but then they... she but then she throws a bit of the meat on her plate in their direction. Um, they actually don't go for <laughs> Um, they they, uh, they dodge out of the way and the injured one sort of limps around the very edge of the clearing up to the cave mouth um, where Skenis um, <laughs> Skenis is sort of loitering um, and he takes, takes it in and soothes it and he says it's not personal um <clears throat> But it is justified, um, <laughs> and uh, I wasn't yeah. taking it personally. Um, <clears throat> I'm not butthurt. <laughs> um, he does, however, if there is any of that magic left, Kiara here. Yeah, come on. Um, and he has to. He has to m- almost carry her to you. Um, she is reluctant to go anywhere near you. Near me? Okay. Well, you're near Selenox, but you were also the of... one raining down moonbeams. Um, <laughs> these enough. are, you feel probably smarter than your average animal. They're, they're not human smart, but they are like not, uh, they're not yeah. stupid creatures. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, um, yeah, she is trembling. All right. Um, all right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. It's okay. So, um, he... what I'm need, going to need you to do is you just, um, can you just keep, uh, keep her distracted for a second and I'm just going to give her a poke. Okay. Um, he, he just says, keep... yes, she will not bite No. That's all right. Just <laughs> get, if her eyes on you, then I'll just jump in. Just. Um, yeah, and he he manages to get her attention very briefly, and okay, um, yeah, just like a doctor giving like a like a shot, a jab, just yeah. kind of it's like, it's like you see the monkey. Wow, it's a nice monkey, isn't it? <laughs> and then we're good, oh, and freak, the, well done. The silvery ripple um, passes over yep. this. The wounded, I think, badly scratched. Um, uh, I think scorched. Actually, this one was actually hurt by his <clears> elder. <throat> Um, I think this was a, yep. the shatter. Um, so it's, um, yeah, the wounds are odd. It's not a, the kind of damage done by a blade. This yep. is rupture damage. Um, mm. it burst blood vessels and just bits of skin have just sort of kind of exploded. Um, so when this re it has it has look almost like flower petals and it just sort of closes back and knits back up again. Sure. Um, and... Um, the the animal moves and stretches as in and it, like clearly surprised and then turns and sniffs your finger sniffs your uh, hand to be honest i think the circumstances he would just kind of back off as he knows that the the animal is like not reacting to him well so he'll just let the 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 dad or the owner or however the relationship was like kind of take the credit right so like basically if mm. if, if it if the creature seemed disturbed he'll just kind of sneak up behind it go and yeah. then just kind of go back to oh, eating, okay. essentially yeah. um uh, but yeah. 10 points of healing for what it's worth thank you um given that they only have 12 that's probably enough in fact i think that takes it back up to full um from what I had in my notes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that one was down to two hit points. So, yes. Um, yeah, you nearly got it, as. Um, and, uh, yeah, Skenis sort of pats it on the backside and it dashes into the cave, uh, holding a chunk of meat. Um, and um, <clears throat> he, he says, thank you. You did not have to, and I appreciate it. Um, All right. Have some food if you want. 
I will eat later. I must see to them. Yeah. Um, we'll be out of your hair soon. That is... For what it's worth, we're, we're sorry about any no, other problems. He actually very quietly says to you, what you did was for the best. Take the children, get them to safety. I will apply what moderating influence I can. Yeah. Though I think things will be very different with Zuelka. Okay. We need more women in positions of power. <laughs> in general, yeah, I can confirm. Thelenox cheers that if she hears it. It's very, it said exceptionally. <laughs> he wouldn't want any of the women I, present I will... to hear him express that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you just see two, do you see these two dudes having a conversation and you just see me kind of indicate my head towards you for no reason at all. Um, he then lightly pats you on the shoulder. Hey, Shanahas. And um, you're a good person. And goes inside. This is a blind man as well. Um, he is navigating mostly by smell. Um, and um, yeah, <laughs> Smoothie and his three mums. I, I, let's not ship Esmeralda that quickly. Um, <laughs> she's been around literally two days. <laughs> um, Auntie Ez. Um, that's adorable. She can't help it. <laughs> that's true. Um, <clears throat> sorry, Ro, you sounded like you had a thing. Uh, yeah, well, uh, <clears throat> so Smoothie, Trish, uh, I think Ez and I might be missing some stuff. What? Who's in charge around here now? Uh, Trish, go ahead. Uh, from what I understand, Zuelika is going to lead the pack. And she has assured me that the barbaric practices will not be continuing. Right. <sighs> And how are they feeling about a mutual acquaintance? Oh, I didn't get a chance to ask. I get the feeling that the answer would be not great, but the fact we're not exchanging violence is probably for the best. It feels like a kind of question that's only going to piss people off, no? Yeah, um, I just thought part of the idea of being here was getting allies, yeah? So are they our allies or are they just neutral uh, right now? Annika is still tending the fire. Um, and I don't think this is a conversation you're having so quietly that they couldn't hear it. Um, Annika sure. would say, perhaps you would want to run that by the new pack leader. <laughs> um, find well, out that's exactly not complicated. Where... She wants her mate back. If we do that, then I get the feeling they're allies. If not, then they're not going to try and murder us, which yeah. might be enough. There might be more. I am. I have a request my own self, as does yours. Oh, we don't have enough to do, so go ahead. Well, uh, you we'll add it kind to of the already list. offered this. I wish to know more about the Night uh -huh. Father. Oh. Okay. About his real and teachings. Like. You are okay. a priest, yes? Oh. Um, no, I, I'm just, uh, uh, tell her, I suppose, a story teller. We, we didn't really have, uh, ordained people. That would be too obvious. I think there's priests of us in the wood, though, back, back in the other place. So I must go there to learn more. You cannot no, do the teaching. I, it, uh, oh. No, I can, I can, I can do it. I just, uh, it's, uh, I can, um, I can't write. So I can't read. You'll just That's have to fine. listen. Works out fine. Um, <clears throat> no, I was I, raised I, in a I'm cave. happy to. Um, <laughs> Consider that you are talking to someone raised in a cave. <laughs> why not tell you what? Why don't you get whoever wants to listen, and we'll go somewhere else? Because I don't really want to rub it in anyone's face. We'd literally just kind of beat them into submission, 
and we'll find somewhere private and I'll answer whatever questions you want. This is appreciated. I will gather the others. I think Scanis sure. wants to know more. Yosef definitely does. Okay. And Zuelika should. <laughs> well, go scund, ahead. Um, never, never, never look scund in the eyes again. Just a warning, fair warning. Even if we do prove to be allies, Skund will not. He will remain here and protect the cave if we ever come to help you. I understand. Um, Believe me, I do. Yeah. Um, what will come of the little ones? I ask with nothing right We're working that out. Um, I had a thought about someone. Um, She's a, a, a mom and a, and a leader uh, over in um, a village kind of northeast of here. But um, I'm not sure. I suppose it depends where they came from as well. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Can you leave the wood? I can't. Sort of. <laughs> I need um, a totem, ah. but yeah, you, you, if I found me, one, yeah? then yeah, but there is camp near Valakai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Actually, I don't think I know that. No, never mind. Uh, I would say, oh, uh. Uh, that is for you to figure out. I Maybe mean... that is helpful information. I go get Zuelka. Yeah, yeah you um, do that. She goes inside, leaving. She's the last web prowler outside. She's one of the few that you probably feel doesn't view you guys with any level of hostility at all. Sure. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So the five of you plus like 13 children are outside. These kids are from the wood? I asked the group. About half of them. <sighs> Actually, I think only about... How did those werewolves... Two were from Humblewood itself. Um, the right. rest were from the area, like the greater Everden. Um, but several were from Barovia. Mm. Ah. Uh. Well, if anyone's local, we can get them home pretty quick. Uh, yeah, if, that's if, true. Uh, sorry. Uh, 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 children, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> do you have uh, uh, anyone from here, Valakai? Um, I think two of them put their hands up for that. Great. And, uh, oh, Nah, I can't work it out without asking it. Sorry, I'm going to be blunt, mates. You've been through a bit anyway. Uh, have you got someone to go back to in Valakai, mates? They are not sure. Right. Well, we do know Father Lucian. He can at least give them a bed in the meantime. Yep. So right. that's something. So, a couple of Valakai. Yeah. Well, we're closest to Valakai, so maybe that's a good start, and he can give us advice from there. Um, Do we uh, need to keep an eye out for these Vistani friends of yours? Is that an issue? I don't know. Esmeralda would know um, that that camp is relatively permanent. It's the population very much changes, but it's sort of a regular meeting point for various clans of Vistani. So it's not so much that it's a permanent, it's, it's a permanent group of people. It's just a permanent place where people of Vistani do meet. Um, and once or twice a decade, there is a big sort of gathering uh, but the last one was a couple of years ago. You're not expecting another one soon. However, they they don't shit where they eat. Um, so they wouldn't be a problem around this area if you view uh, um, Vistani as a problem. It depends. Um. <sighs> it 
there um <clears throat> there's probably some of my um relatives there ah uh, yes of course um is i you sound like that um is less than an ideal well, i don't know i never got to ask but uh are you interested in finding out sorry i'm being blunt guys round <laughs> i think it's rubbing off on me <laughs> If we um, did need to go, do you need someone to go with? Well, well of course. It depends on what we'd want to go for. If we think it's if we think it's worth it, then sure. Is is, is but, um I don't know Mr. Smoothie's position, but uh, is that a good idea as far as you're concerned? It's never a good idea, but sometimes it is the only idea. Yes. Um, well, if you are wanting to come hither and thither, I actually happen to, I might be able to help you out. Um, I have one. A totem. I have one. Oh. I acquired it somewhat honestly. There... Uh, well, look. Um, early when, when I first arrived back in Barovia, uh, I was already in my persona as, um, as, uh, Rictavio, the traveling, uh, ringmaster. I stopped to give a lift to a young lad, uh, who was catching a lift to Valakai. Um, didn't want to have to walk, and I saw no particular reason I wouldn't have minded the company. We had a couple of days. It seemed the sort of thing my persona would do. Couple of days on the road, no problem. Nice chap, good good chalk actually. Couple of good talks. Um, then one evening he tried to stab me in the back. Take my cart. Night the night before we got to Valakai. I killed him first, but I did not start it. However, on his possessions he had a totem. I recognised it. I can't use it, of course. Uh, but I thought you might be able to. Uh, however, Master Smoothie would be welcome to it if you'd like it. I have no real need of it my own self. It would be safer for them in the Humblewood than here, even if it's just temporary. Once we take care of Strad, they could be brought home. If they've got well, homes to come to. Hmm. You want to send all of them to the Humblewood? Temporarily. To be somewhere safe whilst... I'm expecting a bit of a... tumultuous time when we do what it is we need to do. It might be safer for these children to be far away from it. Well... Um, I, the ones that we can, if we establish the, that some of them are local, I can, we've got some running about to do before we make our final move. Um, I can take, if you, I don't know if you trust me, but uh, I can take some to, if you're heading in a different direction, like some of them are from Barovia, some of them are from Kresk, so, you know, we'll have to go in separate directions. I can go in one if you need to go in the other. We can escort the ones that are local home. Um, which which way they... is that wise place? Uh, why? Uh, the Wizard of Wines. Yeah. Uh, that would be Cresc Ways. Right. Heading west. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I think that if they've got homes here, that's where they should go. But I, I, <clears> dis I agree completely. Um, and their parents are probably worried sick. Um, I, in Barovia, I would imagine, and I, I, you can ask Zuelika, I'm sure, um, but they tend to not hunt people as much. Um, <clears throat> they work for Stroud, so uh, he doesn't like people preying on his people other than him. What, but how did they get the... They, what, the were prowlers don't hunt people in Barovia, but they've they got all these children. They would, have, they would have abducted the children, but not killed the parents. 
Ah. So it's all right to steal a few kids, but it's not all right to off their parents. Look, I'm not going to say it's all right for any of these, but by Strahd's reckoning, who can judge yeah, the mind yeah. of a madman? Yeah, yeah, no, sorry. Just just checking I have I'm, it. I'm not supporting it at all, my dear. Um, but I'd have heard well, stories I... of families being eaten, and I haven't. I've heard stories of children being abducted. I know there are several missing persons cases. I think we should stick to the plan of just dropping off the kids as, as needed. I think that's the best thing. And then whatever's left, then we can make that call from there. If the parents are still around. And if not, Trish, I mean... Um, you guys are probably right. It's probably safer in the wood. And it'll be temporary. But Once we fix things here, they can come home. If they want to. The Humblewood is really nice by comparison. Okay. Well, let's focus on one thing at a time, huh? Yes. We're going to um, drop off these kids home. Um, Are you right. doing a sermon first? <laughs> is that what we're calling it? Okay. I Me. don't think oh. it would like it wouldn't be a bad idea. A, a story time. What 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 do you want me to call it? Story time works fine. Yeah. Question That's time with sure. Archpriest Smoothie. Oh God. <laughs> <sighs> nice. They want to hear about a nice thing. That's nice, Kit. It's a yeah. good first step. Well. Okay, um, I will go and um, tell them all about the Night Father and how he lives in the uh, in the plane of death and his relationship with Altus and all the rest. You do that. Felinox um, definitely comes along. So because uh, the invite was whoever wants to hear. So yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, <laughs> in that case, yeah. uh, I, what I, Im I imagine it probably looks like is very it's very dance based. That's what it was like before. So it's very, uh, uh, you know, like you tell the story and then it's very, you know, acting it out, uh, not dissimilar to certain indigenous traditions and yeah. so on where you like act out the sort of thing. And and that's often what it looks like. So that story that sticks in Jack's mind is probably uh, how Altus became the god, uh, the straight god of uh harsh times and harsh weather mm -hmm. and how titan kind of gave that to him and the kids probably get into it and kind of go boom all at the same time to kind of indicate the ascension so to speak uh yeah, like right. a crack of thunder um so this definitely happens outside because you wouldn't take the kids back in um <clears throat> well, not. No. Yeah. so um a total of five of the web prowlers come out um annika yosef skenis suelica and um, <clears throat> Asian. Um, Asian looks the least interested, at least initially, but um, kind of being. Oh no, I apologize. There would be a six when Seskia also yeah. comes out. Yeah. Um, and sits down next to Kellen, um, gestures for him to sit on her lap, and he. <sighs> I imagine Trish is watching this relatively carefully. Um, <clears throat> he declines, but hugs her. Um, in the manner of a boy who is just coming up on teen, who is sure. like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I'm, I'm, but, I, but I like you. But no, thanks. Um, right. <clears throat> and he sits next Baby to her. Baby steps. Baby yeah, steps. Yeah, yeah. He sits next to her yeah. and she sort of positions herself in the middle of the group of children because that's where he was and they don't give her like they don't cuddle in close but they don't like spread to get to get as far away from her as they can um sure. <clears throat> zoelica sits uh would as and trish stay as well trish is looking for an opportunity to speak to van richten alone right um, in which case, this would probably be a good one. Um, so, Ez? I imagine Ez is probably towards the, kind of the, the outskirts of 
whatever's going on there, just keeping an eye on it, not really paying yeah. attention, but keeping an eye on that and everything else just to make sure everything's going smoothly. Yeah, love it. Cool. Then, um, <clears throat> yeah, I think that is what happens and Smoothie does a, um, a dance sermon, um, which I absolutely hecking love. Um, Basically just Vistani culture smushed with smushed yeah. with scripture. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. And... Not that he knows that, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I think yeah. the, the end result is Annika, no, Azian says, I did not realize there was so much that we did not know. So much more to it. That's okay. You don't know what you don't know. They're good yeah. stories, though. They are good. He is dark god, but not... <sighs> He is not, he is the darkness, but he is not of the darkness. To be honest, I think it's probably just because he was there for us. The sun's not here. Nature's abandoned us. It's not their fault. But we can see the moon. Sometimes. Our relationship with the moon is different, you know? Yeah, I'm sure. You know why we turn? The moon rules us. When Titan's eye looks down upon us, we have no choice but to turn. And let me guess, you wonder if he did it on purpose, right? No, I did not. That did not occur to me until now. <laughs> Maybe I'm projecting. No, I... here in Barovia, there is one deity that we have proof of. Sure. We choose to follow another as well. And the Milesians we had taught us that they were very similar. That he was a god that would look favorably upon what we do. But that's sort of more like creating God in your image rather than the other way around. We're talking about Strahd, right? When you say a deity, is that what you mean? I mean, Nightfather. Yeah. We make this one and he says these things that we, what we do is right. Sure. But it's not Nightfather who says that. It is leader of pack. Says Nightfather says this. Yeah. It's important to always be open, I guess. But where you are from... There's always more to learn. You have met Nightfather, yes? Yeah, but you should question me too. I do. That's why right? I am. What is he like? <laughs> um... Sad. And, um... Lonely. Does not he have the others? There is more, not yes? all the time. He lives in his own place. Uh... Altus is there sometimes, but not often. I think... <sighs> the other two... I think um, it's Amarin probably that... because he's hard to... The other two Amaranthines that live in the Plane of Death are Kren and Hath. Kren and Hath? Hath? Oh, really? No, I thought Altus was there too. I could he's, be wrong about he that. He is heir. Could be getting my mythology mixed up. But that's okay. Um, uh, but he, Al Altus and Titon are close, um, mm. but they don't live in the same place. Altus is elementally aligned with air. He has storms. Mm. Anyway, doesn't matter. Mm. Um, I think it's probably just the nature of the job. Mm. 
he's hard to understand. But like I said, it's just, uh, uh, he, he's hard to understand, but I think ultimately they all want to help if they can. We're going to come back I to this, so, but anyway. I'm, I'm going to, thank you. Um, we're yeah. going to come back to this, but we're going to <laughs> yes. well, throw, kind of it, going on. throw it to Trish yeah, um, and Van Richten. Trish, um, as Smoothie is doing his dance battle sermon, um, you, <laughs> I wonder, how would you separate Van Richten from it all? He's actually rather enjoying it. He's sitting there with a, a light smile on his face, just sort of watching. I think I'd just... Um come up behind him, give him a tap on the shoulder and be like and sort of pull him away oh, yes, of course um <clears throat> hi sorry to drag you from the show but this seemed like a good time to talk mm. you know more about this world than I do and you know more about the creatures in it mm. I want to know how comfortable I should feel leaving this group alone. So I'd like you to tell me everything you know about where prowlers. Spare no detail. Oh, uh, well, all right. Um, well, they are uh, fiercely pack orientated. Uh, the leader pretty much dictates, like there, there is a degree of lack, there isn't full autonomy within the group. Uh, the leader decides things and it, it happens. The will of the leader is very much the will of the group. Um, and uh, so, yes, um, <clears throat> it's why I sort of haven't been... I understand your sort of position on the whole treating children awfully, but uh, most of them didn't have a huge amount of free will in the matter. Um, <clears throat> uh, but beyond that, I mean, it doesn't excuse it. Um, beyond that, uh, they, they hunt uh, most... They, Left to their own devices, probably wouldn't hunt sentient beings, anything larger than a, a dog. Um, really, they tend to hunt smaller creatures. And um, to feed the pack, maybe they might bring down a deer or something every now and again. Um, in terms of uh, what they are, um, they tend to be quite large and strong, even for um, examples of their own species, own races, even when they're not transformed. Um, the, the bite is hugely contagious. Um, and uh, yeah, full disclosure, I actually, uh, I'm going to have to see to myself. And he pulls up his sleeve, and uh, he says, "Yes, nasty There's business." A... And I suspect um, <clears throat> I'm I'm feeling fantastic. So this is it's it, right now. It's probably fine. Um, I believe we have I have until uh, the next full moon, which is. Um, and he actually pulls out a little notepad and says, uh, "We've got eight days. I have eight days." Yeah, he doesn't know about you. I keep saying we, but I, it's not. He's not saying that. Um, you have eight, we... I have eight days until I shall transform the first time. More than enough time to, to find a to, to perform the cure. Um, it could be <clears throat> cured then. Oh yes, yeah, yes. As long as you um, sort it before the first transformation, yes. Right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, it's a lot hard. It is still possible, I believe, after the first transformation. But it's not. I don't believe. And if they were born that way. So it's not a solution for Annika, for example, who was, of course, born that way. Um, <clears throat> you... Have you ever heard of a prowler without a pack? Is that possible? Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. Not a problem. Uh, they don't need one. Um, it uh, just tends to be safer for them. Um, if uh, a particularly strong one, I, there was, there has been sort of their stories. There are legends of packs of hundreds led by particularly charismatic or powerful individuals, uh, sort of uniting several packs beneath them. Uh, yes, but um, uh, sort of it's their their power and influence. But this one is massively weakened, um, and Zuelika, good bean though she no doubt is, will take a while to establish herself as a true pack leader. Um, and uh, that's what she means when she says that, um, well, actually, he wasn't there, but uh, that would be what she meant when she said uh, her mate, Emil, will not take it from her if she is the leader when he comes back. He couldn't. He will either fit back into the pack as a member of it, or he will go his own way. 
that's the two options he has. Um, and he would, it, like, in, in Van Richten's words, he would explain words to that effect. Um, <clears throat> but yes, you don't need one. It's just safer that way, I suppose. And you've talked about them having a connection to Strahd. How does that work exactly? Ah, ooh, yeah, well, that's my primary reason for wanting it out, <laughs> obviously. Um, he is uh, the master of creatures of the night. It's sort of part of his curse, affliction, abilities, whatever you want to call it. Um, he is the master of Barovia and everything within Barovia is sort of kind of bound to him a little bit. He is this place. Um, in a way, not dissimilar to the way elementals are the planes they are from. This is his plane. Um, he is nearest damn it in Amaranthine here, which is the problem. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so, yes, uh, but creatures particularly, just sort of creatures with a a fundamentally evil alignment, uh, and I use that word very uh, good and evil is, as I'm sure you're aware, significantly more complicated than just the way one was born or made. Um, but creatures like were prowlers, it is part of the curse, um, and it is viewed as a curse by most, um, would be easily swayed by his will, for example. Um, I don't believe I am in any significant danger uh, thus far um, <clears throat> I imagine it gets stronger once it's once you've turned but I know for a fact that there are creatures that can resist it indeed Kirill said as much um, uh, when uh, I mean I was I was dead but um, Esmeralda had a very interesting conversation with him I've, it's it, re relieving to hear that the um, were ravens of Valakai um, are firstly a known quantity to these were prowlers and secondly not under th um, Strahd's thrall and that was confirmed by someone who is under Thrad's, Strahd's thrall so that's that's nice to know <laughs> and also good to know that one can resist it if one's intentions are good and just one last question mm -hmm. there's no give and take with that thrall relationship they don't have some sense of where strad is at any given time how he's doing there's no i look i that would be a question more for them than me i'm afraid i don't know um but um yeah i i doubt it somewhat i don't think strad is the giving kind Well, in that case, I think I might as well come clean. I was also bitten, and I'd rather ah. not go through whatever, whatever transition this would entail. Yes, yes. Um, okay, that's mm, right. Yes. Uh, ha -ha. Okay, um, so you are, you are probably looking for a cure, yes? Yes. Right. Um, so there is a spell. Uh, I, I do know it. Um, uh, the Greater Restoration, it is called, uh, that will cure you um, pretty easily. Uh, it is, however, a fairly pricey thing. Um, there is a there is a material component, um, but it wouldn't at all surprise me if your friend Smoothie could also perform the ceremony. Um, <clears throat> though maybe not today, he may have to sort of ready himself for it, but um, I, it wouldn't shock me at all. The rub is, I only have the equipment to do it once. Um, uh, as in, it's it's the, the the ingredients are, and Jack, I believe I'm correct in saying a hundred gold pieces worth of diamond dust. Um, it's definitely diamond dust. I don't know how much off the top of my head, but it's yeah. it's, it's either not one cheap. or five hundred. It's a lot. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Trish uh, is worth it, <laughs> but yes, yeah. I believe you have. It is some. it is one hundred GP. Yeah. Um, well, you you definitely have the ingredients. And I believe Trish would be aware of that. Yeah. So he would say, it is, it's a hundred gold pieces worth of diamond dust. So you know, it's a fairly tidy sum. The spell itself is not overly complicated. It's the material. This is exactly why we did this. All good. Yeah. The, yeah. Like it's, you know, <laughs> like forced situations like this. Mm. Okay. Okay. Well, if we don't have what we need, uh, you happen to be speaking to an excellent thief. So <laughs> I'm sure we'll figure it out. Uh, yes. <laughs> Good. Well, um, yes. Well, let me know if you need me to perform it. Um, Esmeralda, I don't think, knows that one yet. Um, oh, I certainly didn't teach it to her. Whatever she's learned in the last couple of years, though. She's certainly got new tricks up her sleeve, I'll tell you that. Um, <clears throat> very yeah, impressed. she's full of surprises. Uh, how did you go inside? Well, while we're, while I... we're having a moment to chat? <laughs> uh, I don't think I made any friends, to be honest. <laughs> um, Mm. I, I doubt Zuelic is very. An enemy. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt Zuelic is very fond of me, but we got the job done. Um, mm. I think it's best we don't stay too long, or myself anyway. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Uh, well, yeah, my offer to take some of the children with me stands. If you guys will... You've... you've I suppose... You, I mean, you don't know me from Titan, but um, look, I, I hope I have proved myself at least somewhat trustworthy. <laughs> yeah. You seem cool. all right. <laughs> well, the standards yeah. of Barovia, you seem fantastic. Well, that, that's um, not the compliment I think you mean it to be. Um, <laughs> uh, he chuckles and he says, "So that's um, I appreciate the, the, the questioning and, and well done. I didn't. I was I was beginning to see. I was like, why is she so interested in this? Um, but uh, I'm, I'm look. I'm glad you you told me, and I'm glad I couldn't help. Um, <clears throat> so let's let's go and sort these children out and get away from this foul cave. Uh, how yes. they can stand." being here. Have you noticed your sense of smell get better? Have I? Uh, Trish, you probably haven't, but now you may take a sniff. You have advantage on perception checks based on smell. Oh. That's a fun new For thing. Hmm. I do feel stronger. Yes, yeah, same. Same. I feel in 20 years younger, to be honest. Um, not not unsurprising. So yes, uh, the benefits are you get markedly stronger. Trish, your um, I, your strength score has increased. I can't remember by how much, but um, yes, your 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 strength probably. I imagine your sort of physical resilience uh, goes up a bit as well. Uh, and of course, once you transform the first time, um, provided you kill and eat something, I believe that is part of the thing. Um, you then retain the ability to uh, just do it whenever you want. Um, not a not an unuseful thing. Um, as you fought them, I imagine you know how quite lethal they can be. Not as lethal as me. Well, no. Uh, imagine you being with it, though. Gosh, the 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 world quakes. Um, but then there's no real need, is there? Of course. <laughs> I intend I don't to fix myself. Clarity. I, I intend to fix myself as soon as I can. Um, so okay. n no shade on you for choosing the same. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Eldorian Tales. Good to see you, mate. Thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, so, uh, yes, they head back. Uh, Smoothie is just about finishing his uh, his little chatlet. Um, in fact, so he has been speaking Which, to... Which, by um, the way, I hmm. was right. Yeah. Altus oh. resides with Titan in the lands of death. It's in oh, the book. In the book. I apologize. Yes. Um, <laughs> you're basing it on the Sorry. book, not Josh's own <laughs> variation on it. Um, no, that's fine. I um, don't know Josh's variation. Well, this is, that's, why, that's, why I was, that's why I was telling you it. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Because <laughs> um, in, in my yeah. version, there are six planes, not, five, uh, not four. Uh, Titan cool. absolutely would exist on the plane of air if there wasn't a plane of death to live on. Um, <clears throat> right. But, um, yeah. Let us let us say Altus is a, a regular visitor. Uh, I mean, Titan isn't limited to one plane. He can go where the hell he likes. He probably does feel very at home on the plane of air as well. Um, but um, yeah, it would be it was Asian that was having most of these sort of probing questions with you before. Um, however, Annika comes in with the last one um, okay. and says, "So, if what you say is true." Then why did Nightfather and the others leave us to Strad? And this um. question is being said loudly enough that others could hear it. You know, I I thought similar things actually um my um my grandpa was smarter than me um better than me at this stuff and uh when all this happened he he was taken along with lots of people i considered friends and um, since I thought these thoughts, I haven't had a chance to ask him. But I don't know if I ask the same questions. If this is my destiny, is that part of it? Because if so, I have questions too. 
and they're not nice ones. So, to be clear, and she sort of smiles as she asks, do you like Nightfather? I'm... It depends on the on the moment. Huh. And I really don't like that I just said that. But I don't think I can lie. Smoothie, he... can you make me yeah. a religion check? Yeah. <gasps> oh, All gone. <laughs> Power's gone. <laughs> Six. Oh, I love it. Um, yeah, interesting. Um, the oh, yeah as you say this you're probably like nothing of note but you're outside it is it is yeah. dusk at this point sure. uh, the moon had just risen um, and a cloud crosses over it um, whilst this conversation continues um and, um, yeah, Annika says, that was a good answer, though you may not think it. Honesty is, you have given me much to think about. They're Just... not. Go ahead. They're not all powerful, are they? No. If they were, then we wouldn't be here. So you think this was not their choice? I have a lot of questions, too. Here's what I do know. He chose me, and I'm doing my best. I just wish it didn't go this way. I think there are better people for the job, but they're not around anymore. No. You are the only priest of Father Knight that I have ever met. The <laughs> only one that ever gave us any time of day. Or night, as it is. <laughs> what is it I... that followers of the Night Father say to each other when they leave? When they leave, is there a? That's a good one. I I think I can probably ask um, Stonebrew about that. But actually, I can do that. I think. Can I? I don't know. Do I have sending, sending today? I do. Yeah, I have one fifth level. Bugger it. Why not? Oh, fuck um, yeah. No greater healing for Trish today. Um, and I have it. <laughs> and I have it prepared. Ah. Um, um, hey, um, <laughs> I hope there's no time difference. <laughs> How do Titan you, you folks say goodbye <laughs> to um, each other? May roll me a D100. This is just to see whether or not it works, Rach. There's nothing else riding on it. It's a 5% chance because it's going into 47. Palomar. Yeah, you're good. Um, yeah. If it's from one plane to another, it's a 5% chance. It just doesn't work. Um, <clears throat> uh, you hear back... Oh! Uh, hello! Um, smoothie. Uh, how's things going? No, don't answer that. You, it's a spell. Um, <laughs> we normally say... Um, May the dusk keep you. It's not bad. Hope you're well. Um, well. Vanish stone brew. <laughs> <laughs> Warmest regards, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, no, he's a I follower just, of the Father of Night. I, if it's dark, he doesn't care. He's probably awake. Right. <laughs> it's like just coffee. It's like three in the coffee. afternoon. He's like, um, fuck, what you I'm a night guy. You know this. <laughs> I work nights. <laughs> <laughs> you have any idea what time of oh, the wait. day it is? 
<laughs> Hilarious. Um, uh, so uh, I'll say um, I just talked to someone who actually probably knows a little bit more than than I do. Uh, it's uh, may the dusk keep you. Oh, I like this. Yeah. Well, I'm still learning too. May the dusk keep you, smoothie. And she for nods listening. and goes back inside the cave. And your little congregation sort of follows, uh, except Zoelika, <sighs> who wants to talk to the four of you, or five of you. Um, <clears throat> and she mm -hmm. says, so, I will rein this bunch in. Where do we stand? <sighs> well... I mean, it's basic. Uh, I mean, feel free to disagree with me, guys. But as far as I can tell, uh, that depends on what you want to do. If you if you go back to the ways it were before, then we're gonna have a problem. No. On the other hand, if you want to, if you want to help us then I you need know, some time to you can. establish the pack took some losses today including the leader it's not an instant thing I have authority now mostly because of you guys um, sure. I need a little while to establish that I have no doubt that I will and in fact your sermon here helped with that now most of them would follow me regardless there will be some opponents, though. Skund. I don't know if we'll ever manage to get Skund on you in the same room again without violence, but um, <clears throat> that's not necessarily a problem. Uh, we need a guard for the cave, perhaps. So, Can I ask a favor in regards to this? It's kind of important. Sure. If they say anything against it, please let them. They're allowed to. That's... That's how it works back at the wood. If they don't agree about Titan, if they don't think it, it works for them. Oh, I'm not going to enforce faith on them. anybody. I okay. intend to have a lighter hand. Um, and I think it would not be a bad idea for us to just be prowlers for a while. Sure. I Leave think that's fair. And off the land. Grow the pack the old-fashioned way. It's much more fun, anyway. Uh, What's the old-fashioned way? On that, yeah. One of your lady, one of your aunts will probably need to have that conversation with you. I mean, it's not my place. Ah! Oh. Oh. Wow. Yeah, do it that way. Wow. Great. Great. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was both gross and insulting. Thank you. I, I didn't okay. know whether or not I'm not the one to give. I. You all look the same to me. Um, I don't know how old you are. Um, wow. <laughs> she's, she yet, she's, you want she a laughs. shovel? She laughs. Uh, <laughs> she, she's just like, um, she's clearly taking the piss. My <laughs> person. <laughs> Very much my person. Yeah. <laughs> like, so Smoothie's like, wow, you want a shovel? And Esmeralda and Selenox are like wheezing with laughter behind. <laughs> Fuck you, people. Um. <clears throat> Uh, so, yes, please, take children, get them home. Um, sure. The ones from Barovia probably still have parents, at least one, to go to. <sighs> the ones from not Barovia, it is with sadness I can say I do not think so. Um, I, I make no excuses. It is hard to go against the will of the leader when you're not him. But that's not a reason that no one did. We just weren't strong enough. But you have fixed that, and now we will be better. I will do my best for whatever that is worth to make us better. Okay. So please take the little ones. Um, I think I heard that Kellen we will not stop you if you take him, though, well, I will have to stop when Saskia, but 
I don't think we could stop you if we wanted to. However, he will be treated well here. And I know for a fact that his parents are dead. The decision it, is completely up to him. It is. I appreciate that. But the boy is 12. CIB. Okay. I appreciate it then. And I think you have already put the question to him. I will not. Yes. Because if I did, it could be seen as me trying to influence him. If yeah. he stays, he is welcome. And that is all I will say on the matter. In fact, may I say that to him now? She is looking at Trish. That is all I will say, but that would be me speaking my piece on the matter. Okay. Kellen, little one, you are one of us, but you don't have to be. If you choose not, you can go with these people. We won't stop you. We will miss you, but we won't stop you. But if you choose to stay, you have a home here, always. I say that as leader of the pack. You know what that means. But the choice is yours, little one. And uh, then she doesn't bow, but she nods to all three, all four of you. Um, and says, give me at least a month. But if you seek allies against the beast, we will see what we can do. Yeah. Um, she heads inside and you are left alone with the kids outside um, so, and Van Richten would say oh actually there is one more thing she would do um, yeah. before you go may I speak with you Miss Caper personally sure um, and she brings you not far away but far enough that Smoothie couldn't hear that's fair. Um, <laughs> and says, I know the answer to this will probably be no, but you you are aware of... I'm aware. Then I give you the same offer that I gave him. You could be one of us. But I will not make you stay. all due respect which is not a lot almost none mm -hmm. <laughs> i think i'd rather die than follow your leadership oh you wouldn't have to follow me if you stayed you'd probably wind up being the leader from what i understand it this condition makes you under the thrall of strad you don't have to you can fight it i intend to good But personally, I think I stand a better chance of killing him without this. I wish you luck with that. As the right. little one said, may the dust keep you. Okay. Um, she does. Uh, she noteworthily has not offered this to Van Richten. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah. And you are left <clears throat> outside with the kids. So, who would like to go for a little walk? Hmm? Lovely Old evening man, for it. When did you become good with children? I... Um, he, he has put he his is. ring back on. <laughs> he, is, he is Rick Tavio. Um, he's like, I'm in character. <laughs> Didn't he used to have a child, Fez? I said that very quietly. Very quietly, and yes, the answer is absolutely. 
No, no, no I know. I'm asking. I'm we asking don't her. know that, though, do we? Do we? Um, I'm not sure. Actually. I don't uh, think we know that. Do we? It Maybe. could be... I'll tell you uh, what. Why don't I make an inside check to make the streams cross properly? It could be... <laughs> well, the, here's the thing. He's a legendary monster hunter, and how he got into monster hunting could be a matter of public record. Hmm. I think that's probably fair, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, that he initially got into it. Um, at least the the I would say smoothie what what smoothie knows um, based yeah. on public public knowledge of Van Richten is that a monster or group of monsters or probably a vampire um, turned his son. Into Tell you what, how about I rephrase it? Right, yeah. I'll say it like this. He's like he uh, seems like a natural. This is. Dissimilar to how I remember him. <laughs> um, and he has sort of gotten the kids organized for a, a nice long walk. Um, <sighs> yep. Where, where all of them? Where? Least, are, where well, we're going to have to. We're, what is we're this probably going to drop them off bit by bit, right? At least initially. Pied Piper shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, your right. solution. Okay, be... kids, you all got your buddy. Hold hands with your buddy. Let's get going. Um, and all right, uh, well... exit, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Selenox, um, Kellen tugs on your sleeve. Yeah. I'm gonna stay here. Can you? Can you tell that lady for me? Yeah, I mean, you can tell her yourself if you want. She she doesn't bite. <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> he just made a wisdom check uh, and got a natural fifteen. Sure. Um, <clears throat> and he goes, right? I f no. Um, and then yeah, okay. He go. He says okay. Um, and then he goes over to Trish, and says, "I hope you're not disappointed, but I'm gonna stay here with the pack." I'm not disappointed. That's okay. I just wanted you to know that you had a choice. Thanks. Look after Sophia for me. We'll make sure she's safe. If it helps, it's probably better for the pack that you're there. He's got really good hearing. Um, I do. <laughs> <laughs> He's right, though. I'm sure you'll be a good influence. Um, <clears throat> he goes, then he sort of lowers his voice, looking specifically at Smoothie, and leans in <laughs> very ca carefully to you <laughs> and says, Please don't be near Sophia when in a week. I won't. I promise. Just be careful. It's a lot. I'll be careful. And then he very quickly hugs you and goes inside. Did I hear any of that as the person who was right there having walked him over to Trish? He would have pitched it inside. He okay. wouldn't. He would. He the fifteen is basically whether or not he knows that Trish probably. He figured out that Trish probably doesn't want people to know. Um, right, okay. So he would have like just moved you away from people. Like he he, okay. he knew, once he heard smoothie overheard him. He was like, oh fuck, okay. Uh, like we need to go further. Um, yeah, he would have. It would have been I obvious that all. he was trying to be quiet. Um, all right, yeah. cool. Um, all right, Selenox is just going to be like, that was a nice kid. He seemed all right. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, he's sweet. Um, cool. Uh, then you. Take the kids back to Valakai. Yep. To start uh, with. On um, can I? I'm gonna try and walk beside Smoothie on the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Here you go. Oh, it's coming back to me already. I mean, uh, it's yours. It is mine. Gave it to you to keep you safe when you went round the back. I'll take it. I guess. Uh, I wanted to say though, kid. Uh, yeah. <sighs> you know, uh, 
I know that this isn't what you asked for, and and to be honest, it's it's pretty shit. Uh, but oh, for what it's worth, I think you're the perfect person for the job. Just one day, maybe you'll see it as well. That's all. <clears throat> that means a lot. And then she she does a wings flap on the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep up the good work. <clears throat> Where is the animated armor? Is it, <laughs> is it still out? For the kids. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's protecting the kids. Dang it. Love it. Van Richten would then say to Esmeralda, "So, um, did you? Uh, I I recognize that." <laughs> no you don't <laughs> no no I don't want it back Amazing. it's fine it wasn't actually mine I found it there uh, I just reprogrammed it um, but uh, you've been to the, my tower the tower it's not really mine I was um, a previous wizard I was just living there um, you've been there yes yes that is where we were instructed to look for you first ah you turn up anything else interesting there? Depends. How much should I know, old man? Oh. As I don't think I have very many secrets from you. I'd prefer it if you had none. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you would. Uh, any secrets I have kept, I didn't keep to her to. Oh, Instead, you know I find out this while you have my kinfolk head. Ah, you found the head. Jolly good. Um, I wanted to ask him some questions. That's why I kept the head. Um, but he did try to kill me. That's that I wasn't lying. And you can. Who I does anyone know? Zone of Truth. Um, I think that was where the totem came from. Yes. Yes. Um, again, I'm not one for grave robbing or, you know, looting the corpses of my foes, but um, it, I thought that one would be useful. I left the rest of it. I didn't take his money. Um, not that he had a lot, but, um, you know, I did the guy all right. I, car I, was, I gave him a lift and uh, he repaid me by trying to steal my wagon. It's true. The wagon is very good. Thank Most you. people it's... will try to steal. Uh, well, quite. Um, and um, I, I apparently looked quite an easy mark, um, but he was uh, mistaken in that. Uh, but I had a couple of questions for him. Basically, I was, I've been looking for the things that you lot have been looking for, just without less, with less information. <laughs> less um, success. <laughs> and significantly less success, uh, apparently. Um, so, yes, there's, I was trying to figure out who this Vistana that could help was. And uh, that was what I was asking him. Well, the head, which is the... I, I can do the talk with the corpse thing. We figured that's why you had the head, but... Yes. So, uh, look, I can understand it does. It's probably not a nice thing to find in the quarters of a person that you theoretically don't hate. Um, but, yes, it wasn't, it wasn't my idea to start a fight with the man. And... Um, I haven't been unpleasant to the head. <laughs> Reasonably confident the soul does not return. It's just the meat that comes back to life a bit and answers some questions and then goes back again, away again. So he hasn't been injured further by it. I'll stop. I'll shut up. Um, <laughs> Very well. Very well. But I do think we need to have a talk. If we are to be traveling together, we will need to talk, and we will need to talk with others. Certainly. Uh, yes. May I ask what about? Anything further? Or is that a conversation for the others at another time? Conversation maybe later. All right. 
for now, we need to focus on children that you somehow now like. I... It's the character. <laughs> Though, you know, these ones, they didn't do anything. They just, they, they've had a... You know what it's like. You've had a few rough times in your own life. You remember. You did it's... not make it easy, old man. I know, and as you keep reminding me, I'm old now. I've learned, all right? I've learned. I've grown. <laughs> Old vulpins can learn new tricks or serve or whatever it is you want to be. I'm trying to sort of keep in that mindset. But I can, I've can. i learned new things and I'm trying to be better. Isn't that what you want for me? <laughs> Do unto others, is it not? Fine. <laughs> I can be a grumpy old bastard if you like. I mean, that's what I was expecting and what I was more used of, but I guess this is what I'm stuck with now. Oh, oh, I can be the grumpy old bastard if that's more useful to you, my dear. Um, Not right <clears throat> now. No, that's what I thought. You try to do that, I probably try to punch you. But, you know, <laughs> that's fair. We'll talk about that later. I would be more worried about Trish doing it, to be honest, right now. Um, <clears throat> she will also probably well, punch Well, that's what you. I mean, yes. <laughs> but no offense, she looks stronger. <laughs> Also not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, Trish, do you have anything you'd like to do or say? Uh, not until we're somewhere safe and resting. Um, and away from kids. Your yeah. backpack yeah. turns into <laughs> a raccoon. Oh, hey, buddy. And it just doing? sort of wraps itself around your neck, chittering. I just give it a little scratch on the head while I'm Mildly walking. irritated that your backpack is probably still back where you left it. Because uh, you told Chet to stay behind and Chet turned itself into a backpack so that it could come with you. Uh... <laughs> what a sweetie. I'm not even mad. We got through the fight. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. He's okay. Um, <laughs> and yeah. Um... Then, you know, I think um, we will just, we get you get back, you, um, what are you going to do? How are we going to, Van Richten says, right, so we've, um, where do you take the kids in Valakai? You have a warehouse. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, we're taking back to home base to Holiday sort home out for what children we're doing, pie company. We? Till the morning, and then I, I will probably either ask Father Lucian, probably Father Lucian for advice rather than, um... I think I will probably ask Trish if it's cool, but then if permission is granted, let them have some baked treats, um, <laughs> like that kind of thing. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, caramel slice never goes down a bad, let's be real about this. We yeah. can hate people all we like, but <laughs> caramel slice is like, it's it's like it's like music. It's just a universal language. Hey, it's gonna make the, everything better. Hate the cook, not the candy. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. So Van Richten says, "Well, so I've um I've done a bit of a red canvas of our young friends, um, and um, mm. has everyone voted? On, oh yes, please do vote on the putekete, puteki teki, I think it's called. Um, the the best animal, the the best bird in New Zealand. Um, it's a thing ah. on the Discord. Um, yeah. <laughs> um." Uh, yes, I've done a bit of a, a, a canvas of our lovely young friends and um, something of a variety of places they need to go. Two are Kresk natives. One's Valakai. We could take that one home this morning. I mean, um, it would be weird yeah. to show up in the middle of the night, but um, in the morning. Uh, and uh, there are three that are Barovia, uh, as Barovia natives as well. I'm um, now I'm happy to take one set if the other if you want to take the others and we'll reconvene at a prearranged time. However, the Humblewood lot or the, the Everden lot um, are another matter. Uh, what's 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 the plan? Because time is of the essence, you're aware. He knows we're here. Yeah. And now he probably knows I'm here. And once he stops hearing from Kirill, he'll probably figure out what's happened fairly fucking soon if he hasn't already. 
I I have a inkling he he knows. <laughs> yes. Well. Okay. So, what's the go? Speed is the essence, I think. Um, smoothie, have you um, toed and froed before? Yeah. You are aware, I suppose, that uh, coming in is one thing, but going out is another. And um, whilst a Vistani can leave, if Strad doesn't want someone else to leave, they won't. Now, I doubt, I doubt he'd care one way or t'other about a bunch of children getting out. So you or Esmeralda could take them. But I don't think Trish or Selenox could. Indeed, yeah. I'm honestly surprised I was allowed back in. <laughs> Yeah, I tried getting out once already that way. <clears throat> Didn't go so well. I have my way, own way in and out, but I don't. But I think he can block it if he wants to. And it only works for me. It's a. I mean, it only works for me. So I will tell you, it's a. It's a, an amulet of plane shifting, but it only. It's key to me. Mostly so that people don't kill me to take it. <laughs> I make it very clear this only works on me. <laughs> Well, uh, uh, couldn't we ask, well, I, I know that your relatives aren't, um, well, you don't really know Smoothie Bars. I don't know. Can we call in a family favour or something? To what end? Well, they can go back and forth, can't they? Oh. They, they're not going to do a favour without trade. I have some money. Could we trust him to take some kids through with him? Would we trust him to take some kids through with him? They're not my kin. I would not trust them with anyone else's children. Fair enough. Okay. I think you're uh, talking to the wrong people, really. <laughs> um, both, I believe both Smoothie and Esmeralda have fairly strong feelings about their kin. Um, I know. As I don't does. have any. I don't know them. Right. Um, but you're talking to a pair of, I think, excommunicated, uh, sort of sure. banished Vistina. Um, so mm, any request coming from Esmeralda or Smoothie would not be looked upon favorably, I don't think. Um, I... If Esmeralda doesn't trust them, they're not taking them kids. Very well. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, I would only say, I think if it came from a neutral party, you might have better luck, but there's no particular need um, if we're wanting to do this quickly. Smoothie, you seem hesitant to do this. I don't know how this process works. What's, what's your concern? Van Richten, can you give us a minute? Of course, Please. of course. Um, and yeah, he, he bustles off and starts entertaining the children with the flute. Of course he does, because he's a fucking Pied Piper. <sighs> I'll bet. I, um... I'll need to find a totem to come back. As well. Oh. It's a one-way ticket. Okay. But more uh, than that. Okay. I'm, um... I hate it here. Oh. I don't know. I'm scared what I'll do if I get a chance to leave. But you're right, it's the red call. You left once before and you had the strength to come back. And you've only gotten stronger since I've known you. Yeah. It's the right call. More importantly, um, I can look into your family for you. That would be 
be good. I yes. can see what's happening there. Okay. I wish I could take you with me. Can I ask a question? If you guys no. got the chance to leave, would you come back? Yes. Would you do that? But my situation's different than yours. I need something from Strahd. Yeah. As when you left and you did that favor for me and you looked into Trish's family for me, why did you come back? Because someone has to keep an eye on this off. Good answer. I came back because there are things I need to do here. But the things I need to do are not the things you need to do. I'll do it. You will take those kids home? Unless you want to do it? I think I have too much baggage right now. <laughs> Just, um, yeah. What do you need? I'll take that hug. Salinox so hugs smoothie and as she does she drapes the cape back around his shoulders and when she's giving him a hug um she whispers in his like quiet enough that he can hear it but the others can't hear it and she's like <clears throat> you know I lent you this cape so it came back to me but uh If you decide one way or the other, we're going to sort this place out. So whatever happens, I'll see ya. You can give it back then. But it's okay. Big, big grip on the back. Cool. Does anyone else have anything they'd like to add to the scene, or shall we call it there? Very well. I guess it's kind of been decided that we're just going to each take a group and go do what we need to do. Yeah. <laughs> um, so... Smoothie is taking the Everden kids back to Everden, which is mm -hmm. at least a four-day trip. Um, then, and probably like twice that to get them each to the place where they're from, um, and sort out accommodations for all of them. Um, Kresk is a three-day trip on wagons, maybe a little less, but not a lot less, um, and. Um, as would you go with Trish and Sal, or would you go with Van Richten? Probably Van Richten. Yeah. Cool. Um, so we are having a little bit of a parting of the ways. And um, yeah, Van Richten says, oh, well, yes, I love the, love the, the company. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and, um, well, uh, Trish and Selenox, and pleasure as always. 
Um, and uh, I, well, um, should we should we um, see about uh, a, a location to meet? Back up. Uh, to com communicate. I tell you what, uh, Smoothie, you are aware. You know the um, the sending spell, yes? Yeah. Well, um, then perhaps uh, you could coordinate that for us. Um, sure. And, that sounds uh, great. When, when, when we've all, um, I'll look to come back to Valakai, uh, or my tower. No, let's say Valakai, um, uh, within sort of a week. Um, Definitely under eight days. Yes. <laughs> uh, Why? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Little thing. We both got bitten, and would like to um, have that taken care of. Well, I was going to do it on the way, um, but oh, I can I... I can only do it for one. Um, yes. Oh. I, I, I... Shall we, for the sake of brevity, you explain the situation? Blah, yeah, blah, yeah. Blah. I, yeah. I can take care of that tomorrow. I didn't Fabulous. Just, oh, yeah. Right, right. Good. Um, <laughs> That's where we all go. Yeah. Yep. Um, cool. Huh. So, uh, tomorrow. So, is it, 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 well, then tonight we, we have drink? a short rest. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Uh, pop, pop the kids to bed, and then yes, let's. Uh, if you don't mind me joining you, I, I would happily a uh, share. Um, I'll just nip back and get some bottles. Smoothie, you uh, got another dance in you? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just I need a rhythm first, but yeah. <laughs> I tend to walk without rhythm. Um. <clears throat> I tend to walk. <laughs> that you do. Um, and uh, with a scene of surprising merriment, uh, if a little forced, um, <laughs> we leave the band in their abandoned warehouse um, with a bunch of children sleeping rugged up in blankets uh, in a, around a fire um, with the discarded plates of caramel slices and other baked goods um, <clears throat> that have been delivered with a small amount of surprise but absolutely no hesitation um, by the former witch next door um, and her baking assistant um, as the gang get fucked up and um, <laughs> uh, have a bit of a party um, and I think we'll leave it there guys, the season thank you very much for playing with me with Esmeralda heading one way with Van Richter and Smoothie heading another and Trish and Selenox heading to Kresk um, the plan to re meet back up as soon as possible. Um, but uh, yes, Sterling Swiftwell, Vulpin violinist. Ooh. Hell yeah. Love him. Alrighty. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I will make a note of those ones immediately. Uh, I need to go back through the chat and find the other one. I was a bit preoccupied when Tony bought his. Um, Sterling Swiftwell. Let's write that one down now so I have one less to do. Sterling. Well, guys, we are going to do our favorite moments now. That's what we do at the end of our streams. We're going to do a favorite moments oh. and um, have a good chat. So can we have an exclamation mark roll space the number five in chat, please? Swift. Well. A four, Shanahas. Thank you very much. That's Jack. Favorite Jack moments, everybody. <laughs> uh, Jack did some okay. heavy lifting today, so this should be fairly easy. Um, Vault and violinist. Well, I love the confession that he's afraid if he leaves, he won't come back. Because I, I was genuinely like, what's the hesitation? This is the best plan. And that is such an interesting reason for him to be so on edge about it. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, I loved his honesty um, about... Uh, it was the... Um, s right now, I don't. Or, or words to that effect. It was the, uh, yeah, sometimes I don't. Um, when asked why, uh, when asked why he believes in them or whatever. Yeah, that was, that was very revealing and dead set part of what convinced them. You didn't just try to paint it as all sunshine and roses. Yeah. Bishop Blood says, yeah, I the felt prowler. that was very significant. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that was cute. 
Not a dentist moment. It's like yeah. you get a sweetie now. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> um, I I really enjoyed the description of the way you told the stories to them. Mm. Like I liked that. <laughs> I liked that combination of dance and storytelling. Um, yeah, mm. I thought that was really nice. A nice way to do it. Yeah, absolutely. I really liked when you were attempting to. Well, not attempting because you actually succeeded, but you know, trying to heal the wear prowler. <laughs> oh, not the wear prowler, but just the prowler. <laughs> Yeah. Kara, yeah. shot. Just gonna poke it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just say, uh, oh yeah, you're focused over there, and boop, and run, <laughs> run, out to food. Yeah. Save yourself. Ah, uh, the hug. That that was uh, over many seasons worth of build up, and it was mm. um. It was good. That yeah. was really nice. It's Thirty six episodes of relationship. Yeah. Uh, the rippling was cool, says Bishop Blood. Yeah, the description of the spell was very cool. I love. There are a lot of spellcasters in this in this world, and everybody has their own unique flavor of the way they they put out the the, the, the magic. Um, like Helvig is very is all the me mechanical. Uh, Benix is glass based, which is very very cool. Mm, um, sure. And uh, yeah, uh, Brendan's obviously tends towards the more sort of the light green and nature based. Um, and yeah, smoothies, or this this bright and cold is very cool. Um, yeah, it's really cool to see what everybody does with them. Mm. And makes coming up with something different difficult. Um, <laughs> <sighs> All right, we need a D4 in chat, please. Oh, Tony rolled a D4 and got a four. Huh. We have nice. a D4 then, in which case. I think that was, yeah, Tony rolled a four. So that's Selenox. That's a row. Favorite romance, everyone. All right, I'll go. Again. The scarf again, yeah. The scarf again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he's such a sweetie. No, no. Uh, she, she, she's such a sweetie with with smoothie. Um, I liked when Kellen tugged on your sleeve, and uh I don't know if you did this deliberately. I really hope you did. She doesn't bite. <laughs> um, it was such a good line <laughs> that set him up so beautifully. I was like, "Ooh, ooh, ooh, should he?" <laughs> she might. Uh, <laughs> his gut instinct was to go, "Well, not yet," um, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was very, very funny. Oh, gosh, hiding the bodies of the kids says Bishop Blood. Yes, <sighs> but badly. Yeah. <laughs> I really liked what you said to Smoothie when you guys hugged, because that was so sweet. It really shows what you, the way you view him. Like, you just want him to be safe rather than wanting him to come back. And I thought that was really nice. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful work. For Good job. Mm. Favorite self? Uh... Oh, oh god i hate doing my own favorite favorite moment <laughs> um i i enjoyed the progression today where it was a, like um like smoothie was doubting himself um and so i had the moment where i was i said that i thought he was the right person for the job um but then being able to have the moment at the end where it's okay if you're not though um you don't have to be um, so that was a nice kind of progress, Whoa. like progression. Um, so that was nice. Mm. Agreed. Oh yeah, that was great. I enjoyed that as well, Bishop Blum. <laughs> Fuck off, Santa! I'm fine. <laughs> blood all over the place. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Take that it was, off. That was great. <laughs> uh, mint. Alrighty, we need a D3 in chat, please. That adult being difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I got a three. That's uh, Esmeralda. Oh, it's gone Favorite. back. It's like coming through. Yeah, LEB moments. I'm getting max on the dice. Um, yeah, what do we think? I liked... I... Oh, you go. <laughs> oh, I liked how much should I know, old man? That yeah. was such a fun line. Mm. 
Uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed Esmeralda just calling Van Richten, but then being like, oh, no, we're going to talk about this shit later. <laughs> yeah, she like, really... throw this one. Th- no, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, this is not over. I enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bishop Blood, I, do I recognize that armor? No, oh, you yeah, don't. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, I don't <laughs> want it back. Get the one line. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, I'll still laugh. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Um, oh, gosh. I really liked that whole chat. I mean, yeah. I think it's, uh, I've said it before, but I really, I love having Esmeralda as a scene partner, having Ellie as a, sl- a scene partner. Esmeralda and Van Richten, despite neither of us having a f- particularly fleshed out idea of who the characters were, they have come into the world pretty fully formed, and it's quite interesting to see that relationship. Um, I love this, you're not like this, this is you, and, and I prefer you, I think the line, you I prefer you was the grumpy old man, this is not what I needed. Uh, I needed the grumpy old bastard. Um, that's who I came looking for. Not this quick, kind, sweet old man that's good with kids. Uh, I need the bastard right now. Um, yeah, that that whole thing was gorgeous. Um, Ellie is such a great addition. I agree, Bishop, but absolutely. It's like she's a talented actress or something. I don't know, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I can't pick him. Um, anybody else? Or we have a favorite uh. self. I think it's favorite self now. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I had I had a few, but now I'm just thinking, yeah, just the banter like at random points with Van Richten, that was fun. <laughs> I had I had fun with that though. The the talking with Smoothie at the end, mm. uh, explaining kind of Ez's reasons for coming back. Like, yeah, yeah, that was good for me. I had my own baggage. I remember that. That was good. Yeah, it's like I'm not the right person and it says a lot when she was like oh like no i i can i can accompany van Richten or the other two but i don't think i'd be able to look after the kids by myself mm. very cool tony likes <laughs> the performance the accent the voice that you have yeah i agree all right <laughs> <laughs> I think you settled into it quite quickly. It took it was like about half of the first episode until you were like, no, no, that's it, that's the voice. But yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's pretty pretty quick as far as I'm concerned to get a, a fully fleshed out character. Um, Tony has rolled a one, which is a me, lame. Um, I don't think there's any real need for it though. So let's just go straight to Trish. Ha, um, shut up! <laughs> shut up! Papa Van Richten Papa Van was Richten. very funny and cute. <laughs> That's the best choice. <laughs> this episode needed a bit of lightness, and I thought he could provide it. <laughs> Adorable. Yeah, I uh, enjoyed... you were brave soldier. Very cute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed the where Prowler's questioning of Smoothie. Mm. I enjoyed the like a the, the, them coming and being like, "We want to know more." Um, but mm. I enjoyed their skepticism with a ray of hope. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I really liked the the scene uh, with with Trish as Kellen, uh, where Kellen was going to be a good wear prowler. Like mm. that got me. I was just like, no, nope, no, nope, yeah. I'm, I'm not crying. You're crying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, that was going to be mine as well. Basically, um, <laughs> the uh, the kid, um, basically having a bit of an existential crisis about where they belong and all that stuff. And for the first time being given real agency and uh, it's going to be very interesting. Like you, you kind of want to be a fly on the wall and watch this kid make his own choices. Like, is he still going to be close with his mother figure or is he going to break away entirely? Like that's a lot of baggage. Mm. Um especially once he gets old enough and realizes what's happened to him. Um, but in the meantime, he's doing the best he can with the information that he has. And, and that's what life's all about. It's about agency and choice. Yeah. Playing children is really hard. Yeah. Um, because and I think playing, playing children who've gone through that as well, um, or something like it is, is quite difficult because it's like playing, um, somebody with a mental disability uh it's hard to play 
you, you don't want to uh, like to use a very un, unpleasant term from I'm not even going to use it. Tropic Thunder says it um, where like you don't go full stupid. Um, and yeah, you have to they so every child I've ever portrayed is played significantly wiser than their years. Um, but I think a certain amount of wisdom does come from that sort of trauma. Um, but to play them believably, but not like they don't have the same decision making paradigms as an adult. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Innocent without being cringe is hard. <laughs> um, so I, I think I've threaded that line quite well. Um, and favorite self moment. Um, there's a couple of little details I put in. Um, the Chet, Chet, Chet backpack buddy. Yes. Uh, the backpack buddy was cute. Um, I wanted to put Chet in. Um, again, for lightness. This was had the potential to be a fucking dark and depressing episode. Um, and there was some light. Um, and yeah, that was a lot of it was deliberate. Um, uh, but for a little detail, I really like this, the, the cloud going over the moon. Um, that was nice. Yeah. But none of us really know what it means, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't necessarily mean anything. <laughs> I'm not even sure any of you really noticed. Like, it's just, it was a thing. Rory has a theory. Selenox mm. didn't notice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's very much just that they they don't have... Uh, the, the Titans, Titan can see in a bit, but he can't do anything. Yeah, you can you can see it in the movie version. It's just like one of those things that like, like oh, I've watched it for like the sixth time, and there's yeah. that thing. Oh, fuck yeah. you! I it's see a little it. Easter egg, a little Easter yeah, egg. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Cool. All righty. Well, then let us do our favorite rage moments because that's what we've got yes. left. Chat, please tell us your favorite rage moments while we do ours. What do we reckon, gang? Thanks, Bishop Blood. I like that you were, as Trish, you were, like, you, you were ready to be the standard, like, fuck you with the horse you rode into the World Cup. But then she gave a little. Um, she she acknowledged, it seemed to me, that, like, she was, you know, um, had done something fucked, but didn't deny it, took it on the chin, and went, this is what I'm going to do differently which and and you responded good and um <clears throat> it's uh it's a very clear thing with trish which is like you know like you're probably never gonna get like forgiveness from me but don't worry about that shit like you like like that's 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 irrelevant like mm. you know goodness when you have done something like wrong like whether i forgive you is irrelevant um mm. it, like are you gonna do the thing or not yeah and um and doing it for Trish acknowledged that. Yeah. Right. And um and and Trish acknowledged that, I think. And I yeah. and I and I saw that and I acknowledged that. I really enjoyed Trish considering the wear prowler situation. Um asking Van Richten about what it would mean to be under the thrall of Strad mm. and whether you would find out more about him through mm. that is there any mileage in this at all yeah yeah I, and then yeah. and then making the decision um yeah because i i actually i when you started that conversation i thought you were going down in a different angle to find out something else and then i was like oh shit she's like trying to find out whether this would be beneficial to her mm. to her and i was like that's yeah it was really clever mm. and it was really well played as i like flow through of what you were finding out and where your decision making process was going through that so i thought that was really well done yeah. thank you yeah absolutely i liked the kind of return of the anger when uh trish was talking to i think it was zoelica mm. at the end like i'd rather die than join you it's like oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow like with all due respect i have none for you fantastic <laughs> Oh. <laughs> like that was, it was of which there was little close to none. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. so basically yeah. none. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Um, I loved I so being Van Richten is really fun. 
uh, I enjoy I enjoy being Van Richten and the chat with like I, I've I've had a, him as a scene partner for a couple of you tonight and yeah I really enjoyed that that conversation mm. him not knowing uh, <sighs> and the, like him going ah and 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 giving getting having the opportunity to like give you the information um, but also like like have sh- gave me an opportunity to show a little bit more about him um as well and build to do a little bit of sort of more narratively um organic world building um it opened an awful lot of doors and it was also really logical for trish um so i really enjoyed that whole scene but for a specific little moment um the final conversation with kellen the the little one at the end when he was when he said like you look after sophia and and don't be near her when in eight days. <laughs> um. Yeah. Is Sophia Kellen's sister? No. Um, okay, cousin. I was like, holy shit. She is another <laughs> strig, but um, if you'd asked, cousin. Right, okay. I didn't want to ask because there was just a really sweet connection there. And I didn't, yeah. didn't want to ask during stream. I was like, there's something there. but I didn't Yeah. Know. Um. Yeah, that was that was really nice. I loved that. I liked that bit as well, Rachel. Hmm. I think um, something I liked was again going back to the Zoelica thing because I hadn't planned to respond that way, but just discovering that Trish has like a, I'm part of my group and going to be diplomatic mode. But then if you get her on her personal feelings mode, it's like no, fuck you, fuck all of you. I hate this. <laughs> But I will be diplomatic when I need to be, but me personally, no. And it was fun doing that distinction. I didn't realize I was going to have that response. I can hear Karen laughing from a room away. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's delayed, so I'm pretty sure I know I know what she's referring to, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was good. Oh, sorry, I was actually laughing at you guys. Oh. Uh, all right then. <laughs> Turns out we weren't that funny. Uh, she was like, fine. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. She's not even Whatever. paying attention. No, that's okay. She's not even listening. Yeah. Um, all right. <laughs> God. <laughs> Fucking lurker. I all think right. Bob's um, a silly. Uh, I had the rabbit on the bed, and uh, Siri was getting up in Guinea's face, so Guinea lunged at her, and Siri fell off the bed. <laughs> that is funny. Um, yeah. Yeah. That is very funny. <laughs> Series now over here, like Daddy, Daddy, the rabbit hurt me. Um, <laughs> alrighty, cool. Well, that is our favorite moments. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, that is the season. That is season three of Midnight and Madness done. Mm. Amazing, guys. Uh, what an incredible journey that these guys have been on so far. We will see you back here in the new year for more of Midnight and Madness. That is a promise. Um, so, guys, we will go away from here and raid somebody. Who should we raid? But before we do that, we need to know who the heck you all are. Thank you very much. Fox Call, it was lovely to see you again. I haven't seen you in a while, buddy. Um, <clears throat> no judgment. You can be busy. That's fine. Uh, Ro, who the absolute heck are you? Hi, I'm Ro Ro, and despite the name, I have little to nothing to do with boating. Uh, you, I am a Perth-based educator and theatre maker, and you can find me here, but not for a while, because we just finished the season. Um, and well, Candlekeep also- Christmas. Oh, yeah, you might find me here soon. I don't know. We we will see. Maybe I will be here. Um, Instagram, um, at Cradventures, to see photos of my dog, Charlie, with the large ears, uh, many travel adventures, and upcoming projects like Othello, which will be on in December in Perth, if you happen to be around here. Um, And sometime soon, you can catch me over on Jack Squarepeg's channel as well to Mm -hmm. see our amazing Western adventures. Yeah. But I'm, yeah, that's very exciting as well. I was trying to get up <laughs> grads tickets for Othello. I will put it in the chat, the link. I think, um, um, yeah. yeah, and it's going to be, as I understand it, some sort of radio play, but with pictures. With um, your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> there's going to be sound effects and there's going to be me with a cowboy hat. Yay. It's very exciting. It's very yeah. exciting. Yeah. Jack, <laughs> tell me all about it. Okay, well, guys, um, first of all, thank you for all your support and for watching. Um, I also want to give a little shout out to um, to Kate O'Sullivan, who is our lovely mod and is fantastic. I hope you're doing well, my darling. Um, I'll get some and, hearts and chats for Kate. 
And uh, as well as that, you can find me at Jack Swearpeg on all the socials and on Twitch, um, where we do RPG edutainment and the occasional video game potluck. And coming very soon, uh, a Call of Cthulhu Western series where we cut out all the fat called Trouble Over Yonder, uh, which has sound effects and all sorts of things. And when players are doing that sort of back and forth thing, they go, oh, should we, could we, maybe, we, uh, well, uh, 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 there's simply a narration going, and then our heroes decided to go and do the thing. <laughs> And uh, it's a I wonder time. If, I um, wonder if I'm going to be offended when I see the final cut. <laughs> <laughs> the, trick is, the trick is, if I did that in the YouTube cut of this series, this series would be like three hours long tops, like a whole season. <laughs> it's any 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 tabletop game. It's the thing that's playing the game. That's like yeah. it's not a it's not a bug. It's a feature. But for an audience <laughs> member, I go let's be boring as let, hell. we yeah. can just <laughs> move it along. Like like when the players make a decision, then we'll cut to that. So. Yeah. Yeah. And look forward to that. That'll be fun. Yeah, amazing. Alrighty, um, let us talk about Ellie B. Who the heck are you? I am Ellie B, uh, former lurker of D and D streams. Now, apparently, you can see me in some of them. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> you can catch me on the socials uh, at Ellie B ninety four. If uh, on every social bar, the one formerly known as Twitter, because I refuse to call it X. Um, <laughs> On that one, I am Ellie underscore May. Love it. Glorious. And Rachel, who the heck are you? And tell us about your books. Howdy. <laughs> My name is Rachel Fuka. I'm a writer, actor, creative trash at large. You can find me on various social media at Rachel Fuka, including Twitter, which the name has not changed. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Uh, and if you follow me there, I'll let you know when I do other things, like potentially releasing another book next year between Ooh, you and me. Yes. Wait that long, I have a book out right now! It's called The Rings of Mars! Elon Musk does not feature, and if you don't buy it, I swear to God, I'm gonna bite you in exactly eight days and turn you into a thrall of Strahd! <laughs> so buy it! I want to change my favorite Rachel moment. I needed this gift now for like. <laughs> oh my god, yes! Someone clip it, please. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed that close up of my teeth. Yep. I did! I did! So much. Good. So much. Rach does have amazing teeth. Um, <laughs> never change Rachel Fuka. <laughs> I won't. Um, I mean, I don't think. Gosh. I mean, it's about three years of streaming hasn't succeeded in doing it, so I don't think it's just going to happen. Yeah. Um, and we wouldn't want it anyway. And Madame et Monsieur, Dame Underheron, and beings of indeterminate gender persuasion, I be Josh the Pirate. You can find me here on my channel, Corsairs Cove, where I run D and D and other RPG games with my lovely wife Karen, the mother of bunnies. Um, I ask only that you go out into the world and be kind to each other, because that's super important. Uh, the world would be better if more people were. So please do. Um, we have a link to the Ukraine action appeal, the emergency action appeal for Ukraine. Um, if you consider donating any charity dollies in your digital wallet over there, we would appreciate it muchly. Um, we have a YouTube. Uh, for that, that we have a Discord. If you want to come and hang out with us there, and we have the all the socials, including the uh, social media site formerly known as Twitter, um, and uh, yeah, you can follow us on any on all, all, all of those if you want to. You bloody champions! We are also affiliated with two amazing companies. The first being Wooten Forge Gaming Accessories. Wooten Forge are the creators of some of WA and even the world's finest handcrafted wooden tabletop accessories. Uh, check them out at woodenforge.com forward slash Corsairs Cove and we get a cheeky little kickback, you bloody champions. I don't shill, but I do have bills. And we also are affiliated with Troll Lord Games. Um, Troll Lord Games uh, create some incredible uh, TTRPG nonsense. You can find it all about their stuff on trolllord.com. They are also amazing supporters of the stream community um, they are also affiliated with uh, um, Phoenix wacky um, so if you want to see more of their amazing stuff you can check them out at their twitch channel as well um, so guys that's all of our shit that's all of our stuff we will be back next uh, this Thursday this coming Thursday 
for some more um, Hummelwood, actually. We are having a short-form series with Zach the Renegade Chicken, and uh, my lovely friend John Best is coming in with a new character. And we are going to be having Daria Surname Redacted back for some Julio action for that as well. It's going to be a short little story about Julio, which is going to be quite exciting. Um, and then later on, in the uh, towards the end of the year, we have Teens in Space will be making a return, a triumphant return to the screen. Um, and... Uh, um, that will be sort of not next Monday, but the Monday after. Karen and I are always going to be around for more TTRPGs as well. So stay tuned for more fun shit. We'll be back tomorrow night for some more Teens in Space. No, Teens in Space. For some more Baldur's Gate 3. Can't promise Teens in Space tomorrow. I haven't asked any of them. Um, <laughs> that would be rude of me. And um, yeah, uh, there will be some candle keep coming up in the Christmas period, which we are not in yet. Um, Hogan, thanks very much for the resub, buddy. Um, it starts Friday, apparently. Um, so, guys, yeah, that's all of us. We need to go and find someone to raid. Um, and you know what? Like we usually do on a Monday night, we are going to raid the Eldritch Scribe because they are running some D&D &D as well. And uh, one of the wonderful Wooten Fords lads is over there. Nelderberry, the fantastic bean, is over there. Des, Raff, and the others, they're all wonderful. So please go and check them out. Um, we're going to chuck a raid over there. Throw your favorite raid emotes up in chat. Tell Des, Raff, and the others where we came from. Show them the love like we always do. And we will be see you same bat time, same bat channel, tomorrow evening for some more Baldur's Gate 3. Say goodbye, everybody. Okay. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. Whee!